Hello, my name is Zach Scott, and today I'm going to show you a fun experiment you can do at home which shows nature's power to filter water using the sun and evaporation. Let's check it out. Here's what you'll need to build a solar water distiller. You'll need a large pan or bowl. It doesn't have to be aluminum, but it could help. A smaller bowl that will fit inside the larger one. Enough water to fill the bottom of the larger bowl. Enough plastic wrap to cover the top. A mixture of grasses and soil. Something small but heavy, such as coins. A rubber band big enough to fit around the larger bowl. And finally, a sunny day. First, you'll want to fill the bottom of the large pan with water. Try not to fill it higher than two centimeters. Next, add the grass and soil and lightly mix it. This will cause the water to become dirty so we can demonstrate our distiller's capabilities. Next, place the smaller bowl in the center of the larger one, making sure it doesn't float. If it does, simply pour some of the water out. Next, place the plastic wrap over the top and secure it with a rubber band. Next, place the coins on top and in the center of the plastic wrap. Check to make sure the center of the wrap slopes downward. Finally, place your solar water distiller outside in the bright sun. You'll soon notice that the water will begin collecting on the plastic wrap. This is because of evaporation. As the water collects, it will slowly trickle down and then fall into the small container in the middle. After it's been out in the sun for three or four hours, take a look at what you've collected. You'll see that many of the impurities have been filtered out of the evaporated water. You won't find any dirt in the collection cup. You'll see that the water is clear, and you can even drink it. It's a little warm though. Now, when doing this yourself, if you plan on drinking the water, be careful what you add. For example, here I put red food coloring in the mix. I then put it through the same process, and look. You'll see that some of the red got into our collection cup as well. This particular food coloring is not poisonous or anything, but you want to be careful not to put any toxins into your mixture. You don't want to get sick. This just goes to show that nature cannot filter everything out of our drinking water. Pollution, for example, gets evaporated into the atmosphere, and then it comes back down in the form of rain. Nevertheless, I hope this experiment has been educational and entertaining. Be sure to try this yourself at home. Thanks for watching. Be safe and have fun.